You're very welcome back. Now, the AdFX Awards took place this week, which saw a number of companies and brands scoop awards for their outstanding advertising campaigns. Joining us is Tara McCarthy, CEO of Bordy Skiwara, who won the Public Service, Social Welfare and Education category, and Colin O'Toole of the National, nat, the Natural Confectionery <laughs> Company, uh, which won three awards, including the Best New Learnings Awards. You're both very welcome to the programme. Tara, let's start first of all with the, the award you won. This is a, it was a great campaign called Live to Tell the Tale which was, I suppose, it, in, encouraging, as we've been trying to do for years, um, fishermen and people who use the sea to wear their personal flotation devices. But you, you, you took a slightly different angle on it. I think that's really what captured the imagination of this. Absolutely. So I guess some background information first, if I might. Uh, the fishing industry is one of the most dangerous industries out there. We've yeah. lost 53 lives in the last 10 years. Mm. And what we were really concerned about is that fish, the fishermen himself felt that if the sea was going to take you, it was going to take you. Mm. And yet they were the experts on everything to do with the sea. So how could you get through to them a message to say you had to wear your life jacket? And it was by working with DDFH and BR ad agency that we went out speaking with the, the fishermen to see what was something that could really change their behaviour. And it was about living to tell the tale. So the fisherman is responsible for mm. keeping himself safe on the boat. Mm -hmm. But if the worst happens and he falls over, then by wearing this device, this uh, flotation device, then this can help to save him. And the, it was that insight. That and, the, and the other aspect of it, of course, is that <coughs> one of the, the, the fishermen's biggest fears is that if they are to drown, that their bodies will never be found. Mm, and this is, you, you actually, the advertisement uh, honed in on this, the campaign honed in on this element as well. Because that's a huge fear, lost at sea. And the consequences of being lost at sea means that, number one, you've no burial. Mm -hmm. Number two, you can't close a bank account. You can't have a will. There's so many effects that will have on your family's life afterwards. Mm. And a fisherman knows this and their huge fear was that they would be lost forever. And only one in four bodies are found yeah. when a body is lost at sea. So this allows, by wearing this device, this tracking device, it allows the, uh, the, the social uh, fabric, I guess, or all of the security around him to be able to launch and to be found within 40 minutes. And how effective was the campaign? Hugely. Uh, so our key target was that we wanted 15% more people to attend our courses. Mm -hmm. We ended up with 23% uh, straight away, mm -hmm. so it was about action. Anybody who heard the campaign, 9 and 10, said they were going to do something different, and the something different was sign up for a course or wear their mm -hmm. jacket more regularly. It had a fantastic recall level with uh, 8 and 10 fishermen recalling having heard the ad, because when you heard it, it was actually fishermen speaking. It wasn't uh, somebody from Dublin giving them a lecture about <laughs> yeah. uh, wearing this. Yeah. And, and that was thanks to David Massey and Jared Copeland, who were real fishermen who shared uh, a, a horrible story that happened to them, a real mm. close miss mm. on the uh, 15th of April of just last year. It's their voices you heard in the campaign, yes. and that's what got that cut through for us. So yeah. powerful, isn't it? And so, so important. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's life saving. Um, yeah. yes. Let us jump Very over nice. to you, Colin. Um, you are uh, you won three awards at this event: the small budget, the new, the new launch, and the best learning for the mm -hmm. natural confectionery company. And I suppose yours is an example of how you approached marketing in a very innovative way. Yeah, so um, normally what you do is you'd launch a product, you might find a sponsorship, and then you'd advertise that. So um, with this brand and a very small budget, we want to try and change things up a little bit. We actually started with the sponsorship and uh, working with in, in partnership with Dublin Zoo. You know, it was the number one attraction in the country for families, mm -hmm. which is the same target as we were looking at. Yeah. It just felt like a really good fit. Um, PhD, our agency, came and brought us together and said, listen, there's two elephants about to be born, two baby elephants, um, there's the naming rights are, are up if you want them, and it kind of took off from there. Sure. Yeah. Isn't that clever? And it just shows how advertising and marketing has gone. It's not about just creating a snappy ad anymore, mm. or, you know, it's about thinking outside the box, mm. isn't it? Yeah, it's more and difficult to get through Creating something really special. Correct. Yeah, it's more difficult to get through to people. There's ad blocking, and there's, you know, people just not really wanting to skip forward through the ads and mm -hmm. things like that. So, you know, we have to create content, and we have to create new ways to engage with people. Oh, look, cute baby elephant. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm going to stop and watch that. Yeah. I must have watched it for four times last night. Right? Yeah. Is it fair to say the brand was in decline, or certainly the sector was in decline before this campaign was brought about? Yeah. So there's a lot of a health trend, and, and people, you know, 
pulling back a little bit on their treats. Um, and the brand in particular, we um, started to delete some products just to um, streamline our range. So we wanted to reinvigorate that, and this was a great way to do it. We brought in a Dublin Zoo pack exclusively just for Ireland. Um, and you know, with the zoo um, generously gave us some footage, behind the scenes footage, of the two elephants, the baby elephants, you know, having baths and you know, going for <laughs> walks the with, their, with their parents, oh, all the so things that, you know. Fighting, you know, play fighting. <laughs> exactly. Elephants play fighting, it's brilliant. How cute is that? So, yes. you know, great, great attention grabber. Yeah. We got a 1.7 million worth of free media on a really small budget, hence, hence the award or the yeah. numerous And it extended to your packets as well. Yeah, so we, yeah. we launched that, that, uh, that new pack and it was the most successful launch we've had as a result of all the, all the, um, the exposure we got from it. Mm. Um, yeah, it was really successful overall. It's great, great to get the recognition. Well, listen, congratulations to both of you. Very Thank successful you very campaigns much. and continued success in the future. Thank Thanks you. Very well much. done, guys. Uh, Tara and Colin.